Greetings, folks. Joseph Kursky here with you to talk about using mapping tools to study disasters and our response to them. Now, ESRI, Environmental Systems Research Institute, hosts a disaster response page, as you can see here, with information about flooding, hurricanes, wildfires, and more. We're going to investigate wildfires as they are incredibly important unfortunately throughout the year in various parts of the world one of the things that you can do in the wildfires zone is examine an interactive map where you see the locations the current devastation the current number of acres or hectares and so we're going to zoom in on one of those using this interactive map all made possible through several things one live Internet of Things feeds from a variety of sources, on the ground, satellite imagery, and elsewhere, sensor, the sensor network. You can also think about another enabling factor, and that is web-based geographic information systems, or web-based mapping tools. They allow us to take those feeds from various sources and be able to map things in near real time or in real time. And this particular map, you can see that I can measure the distance for example from the nearest major town which in this case is Grand Junction Colorado out to the this particular Pine Gulch fire and I can see that it's 22.8 miles I can change the units if I want I can also measure the area of each one of these things again how do we know what the perimeter or area is of these disasters such as wildfires well again it's from the sensor network and it is mapped through the the wonder the beauty the the amazing tools that we have at our fingertips using these base maps from rest endpoint services which is basically mapping as a service lying there on the internet and allowing us to make maps of it but also the internet of things giving us again real-time data not just about wildfires but it could be about floods it could be about non-disasters it could be about traffic and you can see I can sketch and do various things on this map and I can share this map with others so that they can interact with it as well that is one of the maps that I wanted to show you another one related to wildfires is this one with the active US wildfires with smoke forecasts which is drawn with a particular kind of symbology that one of my colleagues develop but let's take a look at some aerial views that are oftentimes hosted on this site as well this particular car fire with the 360 aerial views from a, a wonderful business partner of ours called hangar h-a-n-g-a-r they take a lot of imagery oftentimes with uavs or drones as you can see here you can see some of the unfortunate devastation in this community in various places where some houses are actually intact and others are, are actually burned. So this is an incredibly, again, valuable tool for planners and also for individual homeowners. You know, do I need to evacuate? What's the, what's the status of my property right now or 15 minutes ago when lives and property are at stake? So these tools are, are definitely used not just at the time of a disaster but also to plan and mitigate future disasters that's that's the whole purpose of geographic information systems to make our our world more sustainable healthier and happier this particular one is the one i was referring to that's drawn with this particular firefly symbology that sort of looks like fireflies at night or lightning bugs as they're called in some places around the around the globe but this particular one we're going to look at the same fire that we looked at earlier north of grand junction in this particular summer 2020 and see some of the statistics on that fire i can also see that there's one east of there which is actually near uh, in glenwood canyon not far from i-70 so i can zoom in on there and see additional information so this is again a, an amazing set of technologies and tools now you have these as a researcher as a planner as an educator as a student at your fingertips because you've got access to the web and you've got access to web-based geographic information systems and that's exactly the purpose of this channel is to help you understand why these technologies matter and how you can actually engage with them so for example uh, I just showed you a couple of wildfires and this is my Twitter feed I'm going to scroll down a couple hours ago I actually took a picture of the sunrise in Denver and you can see how smoky it is uh, based in part because of those two wildfires that we examined a moment ago so again incredibly re relevant tools but also at your fingertips take advantage of these learn more about them on this channel and via other sources and again 
the Earth is a dynamic planet and we need dynamic mapping tools to understand it and plan for a better future. Thanks. Once again, the Disaster Response Program from ESRI, Environmental Systems Research Institute, and I wish you all safety and keep on mapping.